Well, hello, and welcome back. I don't know if some of you guys have been watching the news lately but uh, the European Union is uh, 2022 plan to bring in um, a new thing where every new car sold has uh, now let me get this right it's um, intelligent speed assistance device what this does, it, a bit like your GPS, it links up your, your satellite uh, so it knows exactly where you are at any time it's got a map so it will know what speed limit is supposed to be there also it's got cameras so it can pick up uh, the road signs speed limit road signs and uh, you won't be able to go over that speed limit it's actually quite a uh, daunting prospect actually or I can see why they've done it sometimes I think the original proposal doesn't include bikes but I can see eventually it will I believe the original proposal doesn't include bikes but uh, they are looking into it apparently But because of Brexit and all that, a lot of people are under the uh, assumption that uh, the UK is not going to have it. I've got a horrible feeling that our government will try and fall into line with uh, the rest of Europe with this one. So it's not going to be good. Alright, if you're over in America, Australia, Canada or whatever, it may not necessarily affect you. But if it comes around Europe and uh, politicians are happy with it, your governments are going to look over and think about we should apply it, apply it to uh, our own system. So no, even if it's not coming straight away, there could be a good chance it could turn up in future. I think some governments may be against it reason being they're going to lose the uh, income from um, speeding fines imagine the millions of pounds they get from speeding fines etc etc as well as making all these speed cameras redundant but then what happens if you go out on a uh, track day what is it going to do then? Do you have to change the ECU or whatever? Who knows? And there again, cars can go in for a service, MOT and what have you and it could be a requirement for the garage to uh, record all the uh, data that was in the uh, system before clearing the memory so they'll know exactly where you've been, how fast you were going, how you were driving, etc, etc. Uh, big brother, nanny state, call it whatever you want. I don't like it. I expect we've all come across those uh, people, 60 mile an hour speed limit, travelling at about 50 or whatever you decide to overtake. They don't like being overtaken, so they put their foot down. Oh dear, there's a car coming the other way. Uh, what's going to happen? It is going to be road rage, isn't there? A load of bloody road rage. What they've got to stop is people driving around like friggin' idiots. and some of these people that shouldn't really be on the road uh, but what about industry in three years time eh? 
three years time anyone going to be buying a new car a new vehicle with one of these devices fitted I don't think so a lot of people won't bother or they'll import it from another country unless they change the rules and imports so in three years time the car industry is going to suffer because people ain't going to be uh, buying their cars they're going to be keeping the old ones on the road because they know there isn't a spy uh, under the bonnet or whatever it is I got caught up in some horrible traffic here you know, despite Brexit and uh, what have you, not part of the EU we're still going to be applying EU laws oh, what? what's the point of coming out of it if we're going to be doing that? Okay. it's wrong totally bloody wrong now, our own government not look watching everybody else what they're doing and follow suit like bloody sheep you know, I think that about sums up my little rent for the time being anyway draw your own conclusions leave a comment if you want you know maybe get a discussion going but uh, I'm certainly against it anyway so until next time guys stay safe don't break too many speed limits and I'll see you next time round Cheery bye. Cross there's a good traffic this way, isn't there? Bloody hell. All because of a dust cart. Oh well. They've got a job to do, like everyone else. You'll probably be clear by the time I get come back this way. Hopefully in about a half hour. <laughs>